Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to Saints Joseph and Francis Xavier Paris. Today, are, we are very happy to have here with us Bishop Rassus to confer the Sacrament of Confirmation. Over the next two weekends, 113 confirmandi from our parish will receive the final Sacrament of Initiation. We are delighted that our families could be here to join in the celebration. This Mass is being offered for the partitioners of Saints Joseph and Francis Xavier. Now please rise as you are able and join in singing number 648, Come Holy Ghost, number 648. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Bishop. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Perfect. Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself. First and foremost, I uh, grew up not too far from here, a little place called Winnetka. Anybody heard of Winnetka? Okay, a little parish up there called St. Faith Hope and something or other. <laughs> from the age of three and a half, so well, that was a long time ago. And um, I uh, went to school at Saints Faith Open Charity and uh, went to Quigley, talk about that later in the seminaries and been a priest of the Archdiocese for a long time. So, very long time actually. So, but it's good to be with you on your confirmation day. Confirmation candidates, I think you see most of you. Can you raise your hands and I can see where you are. There you go, very good. And I know this is part of the group and we have the other part next week, right? Okay. If you want to come back next week, you can, but that's up to you. <laughs> but it's a very special day in your lives, I know that, and most all of you, I think, are in eighth grade. I read all of the 110 letters yesterday, I really did, and I was very impressed, actually. So uh, it's a very special day for all of you and your families, and I know you've chosen your sponsors carefully, and uh, you uh, look forward to a great future. So we pray that the grace of the Holy Spirit will will indeed fill your hearts today as you receive your confirmation and also this whole community, that we can use the gifts of the Spirit to make a difference in our world. So let us begin our prayer as we do, al do always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Just take a moment and we'll call to mind our need for God's forgiveness. <clears throat> you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> 
You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness. May we always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, in their thirst for water, the people grumbled against Moses, saying, Why did you ever make us leave Egypt? Was it just to have us die here of thirst with our children and our livestock? So Moses cried out to the Lord, What shall I do with this people? A little more, and they will stone me. The Lord answered Moses, Go over there in front of the people, along with some of the elders of Israel, holding in your hand as you go, the staff with which you struck the river. I will be standing there in front of you on the rock in Horeb. Strike the rock and the water will flow from it for the people to drink. This Moses did in, their, in the presence of the elders of Israel. The place was called Massa and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled there and tested the Lord saying, is the Lord in our midst or not? 
the word of the Lord. The response is, Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. A reading from the book of Romans. Brothers and sisters, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand. And we boast in hope of the glory of God. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us in that while we are sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord. and honor to you. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this. And they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the feast of Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all and did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just a word of welcome on behalf of the community of Saints Joseph and Francis Xavier to Bishop Rassus, a longtime friend of mine since my days in the seminary. Grateful for his presence and coming out of retirement. And they're actually making him do a lot of stuff in his retirement. Not only is he filling in for confirmations, but just recently, because of a tragic death of a pastor in the northwest suburbs, Bishop Rassus is now the acting pastor in Barrington. So he's a pastor, he's doing confirmations, he's not retired, but grateful for your presence, Bishop, for being here today, and grateful, too, to be able to present to, the, to you these young people whom I know and love. These candidates have been preparing themselves to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit through prayer, study, and service. Therefore, I present them to receive the Sacrament of Confirmation today. Candidates, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all have called, been called and the bishop invites you to sit. Lincoln Assad, Trevor Barasa, Tucker Barasa, Casey Barton, Mason Brown, William Breaker, Teddy Cagney, Audrey Carlton, Ben Corey, Mia Diarco, Jack DeCrane, Henry Donovan, Ben Dunlap, Audrey Erickson, Sean Feeney, Brady Fisher, Maisie Flanagan, Kate Flood, Kate Gaynor, Alex Gerasi, Alex Gavoni, Billy Grady, 
Matthew Groman, Nora Gunnell, Bridie Hanna, Theodore Hart, Hudson Hayes, Patrick Henn, Danny Hesberg, George Hickey, Seamus Higgins, Patrick Horton, Andrew Jenkins, Owen Johnson, Colonna Kelleher, Molly King, Mary Kate Lafontaine, Matthew Lee, Edmund Littleton, Julia Lyons, Trevor Martin, Sophie McCullough, Teddy Merritt, Molly Minahan, Connor Murphy, Parker Neely, Marshall Noble, Liam O'Rear, Bryce Ork, Mary Irene Peza, Will Richardson, Grace Rometty, Charlie Roussel, Maeve Ryan, Violet Shoemaker, Melia Saferth, Elizabeth Smith, Fintan Walsh, Alexander Wereda, Julie Westman, and Alex Young. Bishop, I present to you the candidates, and I'm grateful for their presence. Won't we show our congratulations to them? I presume everybody was called on, is that right? So everybody's standing. Well, it is a pleasure to be with you, and uh, as I uh, sat down there at the beginning of Mass, I realized my very first confirmation as a bishop was right here at St. Francis Xavier. And I think I was more nervous than the confirmation students. And I gave the homily from up there. And uh, luckily, my physician, who's a parishioner here, was also here, so I knew if I had a heart attack, he would take care of me. That was a long time ago. I know uh, I've read all of your letters and I was very impressed, I really was. And I know that the confirmation's a big step. And I know that uh, going to high school is a big step. And the graces and the gifts you receive today hopefully will guide you all of your life, whatever you experience. I know there were some sports taking place today. It wasn't the best day for St. Francis Xavier, but you know what? The best days are always ahead of us no matter what happens. And uh, certainly confirmation reminds us of that, that we always trust and hope in the Lord. So uh, let me ask you all to sit down, if you would, please. Is Brady Fisher, where is Brady? Somewhere. Stand up. I'm gonna come on down here. Is you feeling nervous? That's okay. <laughs> Tell me, Brady, uh, what was, um, um, what was uh, one of the things you did on your way to confirmation that really impressed you? Uh, service hours, like I had to do kind of the church and kind of outside the church, I think, and I got to do those. Yeah. Right, so service is very important to yeah. us, isn't it? And you all wrote about your service projects. I know some of you went to Misericordia. Now my grandfather was the first medical doctor of Misericordia many, many, many years ago, and my grandmother was the founding a board chair person. So our history in Misericordia goes way back, so it's still here. And why do we service to feel, do service, to feel good about ourselves? No, for others. For others, very good, okay. Um, tell me, um, you're gonna go to high school, right? Yeah. And uh, you all, many are going to Loyola, some to, many to Nutrier, and I don't know if there are one or two others, but I did read all your letters, and I know you're looking very much forward to high school, but it's a big step. And I know that, uh, you know, you think your values are being tested now, just wait to get to high school, right? Yeah. And that's why we need the gifts of the Holy Spirit, right? Yep. Good. So where are you gonna go? I'm going to Nutrier. Nutrier, okay. I went to summer school there. My mom thought it'd be a good idea to be after eighth grade if I went to summer school. I said, well, thanks a lot, mom, you know. <laughs> to take English and algebra, well, okay. So uh, I was too late for the typing course. So I couldn't take typing, so I never learned to type. And my, my, my most favorite time was uh, when there was an, uh, a correct key on the electric typewriter. Anybody? Knew? Oh, you all have computer. I know that. <laughs> Anybody have a typewriter anymore? <laughs> I never did learn to type. So, Anyway, um, so you, you uh, 
You're going to do service work later on? Yeah. And you have a confirmation name too, don't you? Yeah. What's your confirmation Philip name? Neri. Philip Neri. What did you find out about him besides his feast day is on my birthday? Uh, so he's really like joyful and I like, try to be joyful to like everyone I meet. And try okay. To, like, be their friend and kind of feel how like they feel. Sure. Yeah, he's a great saint. And uh, so you know when, when my birthday is now, don't you? I'm going to have to say no, I don't. Well, <laughs> it's not for a while. Oh, okay. May 26th. Okay. So that's why I think about Philip Neri, St. Philip Neri. So can I ask you to tell me about another great saint in the church? Uh, uh, let me get uh, somebody to help you. George, are you here? Where is George? Want to come down? Do you know George? Yeah, I do know George. You, oh, do you get yeah. along with each other? Yeah, you know, every now and then. Yeah, every now and then. Uh, uh, we got to work on that, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. You feeling nervous? A little bit. A little bit, okay. <laughs> so. So I'm going to ask you if you'd like to change your confirmation name to George. Deal or no deal? You got a, <laughs> you got somebody right here who could help you. No, Are you good. sure? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Well, then you can sit down. Very good. All right. oh, Thank you. You're welcome. So George. Yeah. You got Philip Neri. What did you guys c compare notes or something? <laughs> no. No. We had the same same patron saint. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there a young lady here I should call up and ask a question to? Uh, sure. Well, who would you suggest? <laughs> Who would you suggest? I don't care. Whoever you want. Um, who, well, just name anybody. Uh. You'll still be friends. <laughs> do you know any of the girls here? Let me ask you that. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, good. That's a good thing. <laughs> so, anybody, you'll still be friends afterwards, I promise. Um, we could do Molly. Molly? <laughs> Hi, Molly. I'll stand over here. You're not nervous, are you? Yeah, tell me about your service project. Uh, well, I went to like a food kitchen. Food kitchen, feeding the hungry. That's one of the corporate works of mercy, right? Yeah. And um, anything else you did for service? Um, are you going to continue? Where are you going to go to high school? Loyola. Loyola, okay. In our day, it was all boys. And my brothers went there. I didn't, but that's okay. So uh, it was a good school. What do you want to study when you get to college? I'm not sure yet. Well, okay, there's time. There's time, make up your mind. So can you tell me about St. Catherine of Siena? She was a great saint, uh, wasn't she? I really like how she like um, receives the stigmata. Okay, the wounds of Christ, yeah. And because she was uh, kind of a, a very prayerful, we call them mystics, you know, devoted most of her day, day to prayer and reflection, right? Mm -hmm. Good, so she's a good, a good example. And who's your sponsor? Um, Abby. Very good. I know a number of you chose your grandparents, which is great. I only had one grandfather. He died when I was 10, so I've always been very uh, jealous of my nieces and nephews when I see how my mom and dad always have treated them and spoiled them, which I never got. I was spoiled, but not by grandparents, by any way. Um, well, good. So you're going to go to Loyola and all that. Would you like to consider a changing confirmation name to George? <laughs> Do you know about St. George? He'll help you. You'll help her, won't you? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because you, you, I, I know you know this, but St. George was uh, born about the year 300 and something, wasn't he? Okay. <laughs> and he was a Roman soldier, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he um, died as a martyr because he wouldn't give up his faith, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he... Um, Kind of is sometimes pictured on a horse and all that kind of thing, but uh, um, he's the patron saint, I think, of soldiers and a number of things. But um, and his feast day is um, April twenty third, right? Yeah. Very good. Okay. <laughs> so you know about Saint Catherine of Siena? You know about Saint George? Maybe you'd like to change your confirmation name. Do you think? No, I guess not. Okay. Well, anyway, you've both been good sports. Thank you very much. Thank and you. I know you're all ready for confirmation. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about four different points, okay? And um, first one is this. And I learned this when I was in eighth grade like you are. And when I was in eighth grade at Saints Faith Open Charity, when we started there in first grade, there were 52 in our class and one nun. By the time we got to eighth grade, they finally split our class, class into two. We had two grades of, of 26 each. And the lucky half of the class, they got Sister Donelda. She was the really fun teacher. Those of us who weren't so lucky, we got Sister Celine, who was about this big, and she was principal of the school. 
and we'd come in in the morning and she'd put all your English here homework and your, your math homework and your religion homework and social studies and she'd check all the homework off to make sure you'd done your homework. And then she'd write a number on the blackboard, 127. You know what that meant? It was the, day, it was the page in the dictionary that if your homework wasn't there, you would have to stay after school and copy that page out of the dictionary. She was definitely not the fun teacher. But she'd have to leave us on our best behavior and go down to the office. She said, all right, boys and girls, I want you to be quiet, do your studies, and I'll be back as soon as I can. She'd leave the room to go down to the office. Well, little by little, the noise level would start to go up and up and up, you know. And pretty soon, we hear footsteps coming down the hall and her 15 decade rosary making noise at the side of her nun's habit. We'd all be back at our desks. It would be dead quiet. She'd come in the room. Her face would turn the color of my vestment. She would always say this, all right, boys and girls, why can't you dare to be different? Why can't you do the right thing because it's the right thing to do? It shouldn't make any difference whether I'm in the room or out of the room. You should be giving good example and doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Why do you let other people influence you to make bad decisions? We call that peer pressure to date it, kind of going along with the crowd. And when we do that, we're the ones that lose. And she'd always say, besides boys and girls, I can hear you on the intercom anyway. <laughs> That's how smart we were as eighth graders, you know. But dare to be different. Do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, no matter what anybody else says or, or thinks, okay? My second one is this. Um, I remember uh, when I was uh, in eighth grade, it was time to make a decision about uh, where I wanted to go to high school. And uh, so my second point is, you know, use your gifts to make a difference in our world, okay? And all of us and all of you young people have lots of gifts, natural gifts, and you have um, um, uh, the spiritual gifts and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know, things that you're, you know, they always used to, to uh, ask me, what do I want to be when I grow up? When I was in grade school, I said, well, I'm not sure I want to grow up, but I knew that wasn't an option. And I used to think about things, and they said, well, you know, you could work in a bank, or you could work in uh, construction, or you could do whatever, you know. But I remember one day, it was uh, probably uh, around Thanksgiving time, and, uh, and I was in eighth grade, and Sister Celine uh, went to the office. Well, she came back, and she had a postcard that said, all right, any boys thinking about being priests should take the entrance exam at Quigley Preparatory Seminary. Uh, I had no idea where Quigley was, didn't know anybody that went there, I knew it was downtown, hadn't even ta told anybody I was thinking about being a priest. So I said, well, I better go home and have them, they're giving the entrance exam on the first Saturday in December, so if you should sign up and take the entrance exam downtown at Quigley. I went home and talked to mom and dad, and they said, well, we know where Quigley is, we'll take you down there. Then my mom said, you know, the following Saturday, they're giving the entrance exam over at Loyola, which in those days, it was their last year at Lakeshore campus before they moved to Wilmette. It was right around the corner from where we lived. But uh, so she said, better take it there, because if they don't accept you at Quigley, maybe they'll take you at Loyola. I said, well, thanks a lot, Mom, you know. <laughs> but what uh, my mom and my dad were saying was this, as long as you use your gifts to make a difference, Whatever you do is going to be fine. Well, I took both the entrance exam. I didn't know anybody at Quigley. Uh, I decided I would go to Quigley, down where the pastoral center of the archdiocese is now that beautiful building on Chestnut there, just off Michigan Avenue by the water tower. I lived in Winnetka. I had to commute up and down Lake Eighth uh, Avenue around the corner to get the CTA or the North Shore and the North. Well, anyway. And I, we went to school on Saturday and Thursday was our day off. I didn't know anybody there. So I made my way down there. And, but I remember vividly, probably the second week we were in, in that beautiful chapel, not too unlike this, beautiful chapel. And only half of our class would fit because Father Foucher, who was a young priest at the time, now deceased, he was one of the spiritual directors, he said three things I never forgot. He said, all right, boys, he said, this is the largest class we'd ever, we've ever had to come to Quigley. 442 freshmen boys from all over the Archdiocese of Chicago, Lake County, all the northern, eastern, western su suburbs, all over the city coming down there. Second thing he said was, seminary education lasts 12 years. 
I thought, gee, I didn't think it would take that long to learn how to be a priest, right? Third thing he said was, maybe after uh, 12 years in the seminary, 10% of you will be ordained. Now, I was not a whiz at math, but I could figure out, even without a calculator, how much 10% of 442 is, right? You know what my next thought, next thought was? Why didn't I go to Loyola with my friends? <laughs> I mean, really? But every year I'd say the same prayer, Lord, if this is how you want me, help me, how you want me to use the gifts you've given me, give me the help that I need. Well, 12 years later at our beautiful chapel at Mudline Seminary, the day I was ordained, there were exactly 42 of us who began in freshman year. Now, I'm not saying that to you guys because I'm anything special, because I'm not, okay? Just ask anybody that knows me, except Father Rob. He was my MC, so he knows me well. And Father Wayne, of course, as well. So anyway, but uh, every year I'd say the same prayer again and again. Just help me, you know, if this is what your mom made, just, you know, help me to be. So I became a parish priest a long time ago. And um, I uh, served as a pastor. I worked in the pastoral center. I was in a number of parishes. I was pastor in Lake Forest. And every place I went, I went because they asked me to go there. I never got anything I applied for. It was never my idea. And then uh, when St. Mary's in Lake Forest needed a pastor, Bishop Lyon, retired bishop from the cathedral, called me and asked me if I applied. I said, no, Bishop Lyon, I, I'm much too young, and there are other priests, and no, I'm going to, you should apply. I said, I'm not applying. So I'm going to write you a letter. I said, do whatever you want, but I'm not applying. Well, who became pastor at St. Mary's in Lake Forest was me. And I was there 14 years. Got two years added on for bad behavior, okay? 14 years, and then Cardinal George called me downtown. I want to see you in the office now. Okay, now I'm in trouble. And he went downtown and met him at the residence, and he said uh, he was never much for small talk. Not, hi, how are you? Did you have a good day? He said, I need to talk to you about, talk to you about becoming vicar general. <laughs> vicar general, which means when the cardinal's away, the vicar general's in charge of the archdiocese. I said, I almost said, are you kidding? Which I didn't. I said, okay. No, it doesn't mean you're going to be a bishop. I said, Cardinal, I don't want to be a bishop. Not my idea. A year later, I was going to a meeting. Where are you? I said, I'm going to a meeting to represent you. I need to see you in the, in the residence. Okay. So I came in. He said, let's go upstairs to your room. I was living there. Shut the door. He said, this is under the seal of confession. I can tell that now, but I couldn't then. He said, uh, never use the word bishop. You're going to get a call from Rome, and you better be able to answer it because I'm going to be out of town for two weeks. And well, swell, he left me, and there I was until I got a call from Rome to say, Pope wants you to be a bishop. Okay. My point very simply is, is I've always done what I've been asked to do. And sometimes you have to make big decisions, you know, in your life. But if you trust in the Lord, use your gifts the way they're given to you, he'll never let you down. Okay. Next point is, um, how are you guys going to keep the faith alive? You know, how did the early Christians do? We talked about the martyrs. We have martyrs in the, in the world today, don't we? People who were put to death even today for their faith in Christ or their faith in Christian, Christian values. Some of you have the martyrs for your confirmation names. How did the early church keep the faith alive? They did three things. Remember in the Roman Empire, it was against the law for the first 300 and some years. They would gather in secret on a Sunday morning because it was dangerous the first day of the week. They would uh, come together in small groups so they wouldn't be discovered. They would gather around a little table and they would tell the stories of Jesus. They would also bring the bread and wine so they could celebrate the Eucharist. And then they would go back to their daily, daily chores or whatever they were doing because it was very dangerous. But they knew if they didn't stay close to, the, to Christ in word and sacrament and service, taking care of one another, they would never be able to keep the faith alive. And that's why today, even in our world, we have to do the same thing. To come together every weekend to tell the stories of Jesus, to gather around the altar of sacrifice, to receive the body and blood of Christ, our strength for the journey, and to continue all the wonderful service works that you guys have done. It's all part of our life, not just till the end of high school or grade school or college, but how do we continue to serve? Because that's what it means to be a follower of Jesus, even in our world today, to keep the faith alive, to tell the stories of Jesus, come together, share in the Eucharist, and be of service to God's people.
Well, those are the uh, points, that, points I wanted to share with you today. So I know you receive the grace and the gifts of the Holy Sacrament uh, of confirmation, the oil on your forehead, the chrism, and um, uh, the seven, <coughs> excuse me, the seven gifts of the Holy <coughs> excuse me, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit will guide you and strengthen you, especially the gift of courage and right judgment. And we all know the gifts that we need. So we pray with you and for you and your sponsors and your parents and family. I, I know support you. I hope the, the whole parish community supports you. But again, as I read your letters again and again, you said how important it was you for, for you to come to church and to receive the body and blood of Christ. You know, and to keep the faith alive. I was really impressed by all that. Most all of you said that. You really did. And I hope you meant that. I hope you meant that because that's what we need. And that's why we need the grace of the Holy Spirit as we go forward. So I'm glad to be with you on this very special day. And I hope you'll always remember uh, to tell the stories of Jesus, to uh, be of service to others, to keep the faith alive in whatever way you can. Use your gifts to make a difference in our world, to make a difference not just for us, but to make a difference, okay? So I'm asking one more question. I think there's a yes or no answer, and I bet I hope I know the answer. Are you ready to be confirmed? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Very good, okay. Very good, we'll continue now with the, the confirmation itself. Could I ask our confirmation candidates to stand now, if you would, please? So I ask all of you and uh, your sponsors can stand together with you if you do that. And we answer the questions I, I will ask by simply saying, I do. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do. do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and of earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost, and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith, this is the faith of the church, and we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, in baptism, God our Father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters. Let us pray to God, our Father, that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen his sons and daughters with his gifts and to anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and by the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated now and we will, thank you. we will pray for our young people as they are anointed and receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit.
floor is okay? Hello? Yeah, down here is okay? Great. Francis, right? Yes. Use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Yes. Sure. Okay. Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with Thanks very much. Congratulations. God bless you especially in high school. Okay? God bless you all. Okay. And then we have uh, Boniface. Great, great saint. You're going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Yes. Sure. Yes. Very good. Boniface, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You're good luck in our special high school. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And let's see, Sebastian, the athlete, right? Yes. Can you use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Good. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You're good luck in special high school. Okay. God bless you all. Actually, me and Colby, another great saint, yeah, so Dean, yeah. So Maximilian Colby, don't let go. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and peace be with you. Be with your spirit. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck to the special high school, okay? God bless you all. And this is Luke, one of the evangelists, right? Yes. Can you use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Sure. Yes. Good. Luke, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck to special high school, okay? God bless you all. God bless. Um, Catherine of Alexandria, another great saint. There we go. You can use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Very good. Catherine of Alexandria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You can go to special high school. Okay. God bless. This is John. Which John did you choose? John, John very good. Great saint. I got the. I was in the square the night he was elected. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was a great saint. Can you use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Yeah. Very good. John Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And peace be with you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You've been elected special host. Okay, you're welcome. Take care. And this is Richard, okay? Can you use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Very good. Richard, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You've been elected special high school. Okay. God bless you all. This is Elizabeth, right? Elizabeth of Hungary. First, Grant, can you put your hand on? It takes two of us. You can use the gifts to make a difference in our world. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you now. Okay. This is. Goodness, when I, I learned about somebody when I read your letter. Yeah, it's a great saying. You're going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Yes. You're going to say Gildas? Yes. That's correct. Yes. Gildas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. With your spirit. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You so much. You're good luck to my special high school. Okay, God bless you all. <laughs> Philip, you're right. Well, are we still friends? Okay, I had to ask. You use your gifts to make a difference? Sure, you don't want to be George, right? Okay. Philip Neri, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You're good luck to you, especially in high school. And thanks for being a good sport. I knew you would be. And your confirmation saint is? Cecilia, the musician. Can you use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Can you get Cecilia be sealed? with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to the special high school. Okay. God bless you. God bless. Aha, another athlete, right? Yeah. Sebastian, you're going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Sure. I hope I can reach this up. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. 
Thank you very much. Congratulations. And good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay, very good. God bless you. This is Gemma. There we go. We use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Sure. Gemma, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay, very good. This is Teresa of, of, of Lazuri. Yeah, that's right. We use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Very good. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay, very good. This is Patrick, right? I can read it correctly. It's your Graham, your sponsor. Yeah, I never had a grandma. You take care of Graham, okay? Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. You and good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. Okay. God bless you all. Can't see your name. Bridget, okay. Uh, I need another hand up here. That works. You can use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Very good. Bridget, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations to you. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay, God bless. God bless you. Catherine, uh, uh, Claire, uh, Claire, St. Clair, a yeah, friend of uh, Francis of Assisi, right? You can use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Very good, Claire of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. This is Assisi, right? Um, there's another Claire of Mount of Acal, Mount of Falcon, oh, yeah, We got the right one. We got the right one. Take care now. And this is Francis, another great saint. You can use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Very good. Francis of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. God bless you all. This is Patrick. You can use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Sure. Good. Patrick. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Good luck to you, especially in high school, okay? Very good. God bless you all. And I can't see your name. Cecilia, the musician. Yeah, okay. You're going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Very good. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. God bless you all. Uh, Elizabeth of Hungary. I knew there was more than one name here. Yeah, so. Can you use the gifts to make a difference? Yeah, very good. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You're good luck, especially in high school. Okay. You're welcome. God bless you all. This is Mary. Very good. Mary, are you going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Very good. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay. Very good. This is Berna, uh, Bernadette. Okay, you're going to use the gifts to make a difference in our world? Sure. Yeah. Bernadette, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay, very good. God bless you all. This is Elizabeth of Portugal. Great. You're going to use the gifts to make a difference in our world? Okay, Elizabeth of Portugal, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much, congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school, okay? This is John Paul II. Step up a little bit. Yeah, I was uh, I was in the square the night he was elected. The place went wild, especially when he started, started speaking at, oh yeah. You can see it on the YouTube as well. You can use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Great, so John Paul II is sealed 
with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations to the Lucky Law Special High School. And this is, I can hardly read it, Allegis. Okay, that's a legitimate name. We're going to use the gifts to make a difference in our world. Very good. Allegis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay, and this is Sebastian the Athlete. Right? We're going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world. There is Sebastian. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You good luck to our special high school. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you all. Hmm? John. Which John did you choose? Very good. You're going to use the gifts to make a difference? Sure. Very good. John of God, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations to your good luck, Yale Special High School. Okay. God bless you. This is uh, Mar Martha. I have my glasses. I can read. <laughs> can you use your difference, get gifts to make a difference? Yes. Martha, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations to your good luck, especially in high school. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless. And this is, I can't see, a Francis of Assisi. You're going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Would Francis of Assisi be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit? Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations to your good luck, especially in high school. Okay, very good. This would go the other way, so switch sides. There we go. Okay. Hmm? Catherine, which Catherine did you choose? Good. Catherine of Siena, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school, okay? You're welcome. This is Vincent de Paul, a great saint. You can use your gifts to make a difference in our world. Vincent de Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school, okay? Welcome. God bless you all. This is Peter, St. Peter the Apostle. Yep. Can we do the other side here? It takes two of us. It's Graham. Is your Graham? Your sponsor. Yes. I never had a gram. You take good care of gram, all right? Yeah. Okay, Peter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. God bless. And, uh, another athlete, right? Sebastian. You're going to use the gifts to make a difference in our world? Yes. That's very good. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. God bless you all. And this is um, Benedict. Yes. Can you put your hand on the other side? It takes two of us. Can you use your gifts to make a difference? Sure. Benedict, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. God bless you all. Patrick, can you use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Mm -hmm. Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Jesus, Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay. Pardon me? Sebastian, step up a little bit. I can know. Take care of it. Don't worry about it. I'll go back the same way. I'll decide. That takes two of us. Sebastian. Could you use the gifts to make a difference in our world? Yes? yes. Very good. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it all went back together. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Best wishes, especially in high school. Okay. This is Nicholas. I have a brother, Nicholas. Yeah. You're going to use your gifts to make a difference? Promise? Good. That's okay. We'll be all right. 
but we'll be okay. Trust me. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. See, well, that worked now, didn't it? Take care. This is Rosa Lima. I've been to Lima many times to her shrine. Don't let go. To her shrine, she's a great lady, highly regarded, respected in Peru. Rose of Lima, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay. Good luck. Patrick, can you put your hand on the other side? There, it takes two of us. Can you use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Sure. Good. Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. You were lucky in special high school. You're welcome. God bless. This is Nicholas, right? And her brother Nicholas. Mostly we get along. Can you use the gifts to make a difference? Can you use the gifts to make a difference? Sure. Good. Nicholas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. Okay, I can't read that at all. Elizabeth, okay, now I can. <laughs> Can you use your gifts to make a difference? Very good. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay. You're welcome. Sure. Anthony. Other side, right? Takes two of us. Can you use your gifts to make a difference? Yeah. Sure. Good. Anthony, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school, okay? Uh, we're getting there. Getting down there. A little more might not hurt. Sebastian, the athlete, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, the other side. Take two of us. Nope. Mr. Hand works. There we go. We got it. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay. Thank you. God bless you all. You're welcome. <laughs> Philip Mirai, we talked about that. There we go. Oh, on this side. That takes two of us. Can you use your gifts to make a difference? Yes. Sure. Good. Philip, may I be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Thank peace you. be with you. Spirit. Thanks. Congratulations. Best wishes, especially high school. Okay. Rose of Lima, right? I've been to her shrine many times in Lima. She's a great saint. Can you use your gifts to make a difference? Sure. Yeah. Rose of Lima, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay. God bless. Hi there. And this is Agnes. Angela, I'm sorry. I'm glad somebody else is helping. <laughs> Are you going to use the gifts to make a difference? Could Angela be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit? And peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Did I call on you by chance? No, I'm lucky for you, right? Thanks. Oops, another athlete, Sebastian, right? Can you use your gifts to make a difference? Mm -hmm. Promise. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school, okay? God bless. And Luke, very good. You're going to use your gifts to make a difference? Very good. Luke, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You good luck to you, especially in high school, okay? Very good. God bless you both. Uh, Therese. Which, Therese of which one? Oh, very good. You're going to use the gifts to make a difference? Therese, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school, okay? Good. 
This is Patrick. Very good. You're going to use the gifts to make a difference. Very good, Patrick. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck, especially at high school. I should have recognized the shamrocks on your tie. There you go. Okay. And let me see. I have step up a little bit. Francis of Assisi, you're going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Very good. Francis of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations, Mr. Smith in high school. Okay. Very good. Okay, and this is Faustina. I could hardly read it. I'd put my glasses on. It would help. Are you going to use your gifts to make a difference? Very good. Faustina, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay. Very good. Okay, we have Joseph. Is that your brother? Cousin. Cousin. Okay, you have the same tie, though. Yeah. You use the gifts to make a difference? Yes. Good. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Best wishes, especially in high school, okay? This is Bridget. Of, oh, from Ireland. Very good. You can use the gifts to make a difference? Bridget, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school, okay? Okay, and this is Luke. No, Louis. Louis. With my glasses, I could see. Can you use the gifts to make a difference? Yep. Good. Louis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school, okay? Christopher, you going to use your gifts to make a difference? Sure. Christopher, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck, especially in high school. Okay, God bless you all. This is Paul. Very good. You going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Sure. Good. Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations to you and good luck to you now, especially in high school. Okay, very good. God bless you all. Okay. This is Michael the Archangel. You're always an archangel, right? You're going to use the gifts to make a difference? Yes. Sure. Very good. Michael the Archangel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you very much. Congratulations to you and good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. God bless you all. You're welcome. Catherine of Siena, another great saint. You're going to use your gifts to make a difference in our world? Very good, Catherine. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Good luck to you, especially in high school. Okay. God bless that everybody. It's everybody. Okay. Maybe um, we could take a moment and congratulate all our newly confirmed. Good gifts in our lives. We offer our petitions, those that 
prevention of those that are very deep and personal in each of our minds and hearts. Our response is, merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, for the grace to be light of hope and salvation to those seeking direction as they journey through the Lenten season. We pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders, for the wisdom and perseverance to create structures that promote life, peace, dignity, and safety for all, we pray the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For all in our parish who are being confirmed, may they be guided by the gifts of the Holy Spirit to share the riches of their faith in love and service to one another. We pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in body, mind, or spirit, especially the sick of our parish, Art Devereaux, for John Kuja, for Brother Roman Paul Birso, may they find comfort and healing through our loving support and continued prayer. We pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially for Davida Luch and Dor Dorothy. Dorothy Daly Kelly, and those who are victims of violence or natural disasters. May they rest in eternal peace and happiness. We pray to the Lord. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those held in special attention at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Merciful, Merciful Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, on this uh, very important day, we celebrate the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Watch over us and watch over our world. Grant us peace and unity and a brighter future and help us use the gifts of the Holy Spirit to move in that direction. Bless this parish faith fam uh, family of faith and all the young people and their families and friends who are with them here today. We pray all of this in Jesus' name and ask always for the guidance and inspiration, for the courage and patience and peace of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. One second. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. I appreciate that. Please join in singing number 649. Oh, breathe on me, O oh, breath of God, number 649.
This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, George, and all the auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him.
and may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord's peace be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Peace and all good things. Yeah, I need to sit down. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, peace and all good things, my friend. Nice to be with you. Thanks for coming over today. Peace and all good things. Peace, guys. Thanks for serving today. Peace. Peace. Please join in singing number 1031, Taste and See, number 1031.
please join in singing number 1027, One Bread, One Body. Number 1027.
Before our final prayer, I know there's one more point on the card that you received that I do want to share with you very briefly. I, uh, for a while, I used to see bumper stickers that would say WWJD. And I used to think that was a radio station. <laughs> I couldn't find it on my radio dial. Anybody know what those letters stand for? What would Jesus do? I said, oh yes, I learned that from one of our high school kids. Father George, didn't you know that? Well, I thought I did, but, <clears throat> but how did Jesus treat other people in the gospel stories? He experienced all kinds of rejection. He was um, uh, persecuted, driven out of towns. He was arrested. Uh, again, he suffered great physical pain and torture. He was crucified as a common cr criminal. But what did Jesus say even on the cross? Father, forgive them. They do not know what they're doing. And how do we treat other people in our world today? Jesus always treated people with reverence and respect, a forgiving heart, and great love. How often do we see that in our world today? Here in our own country, the divisions that exist and the rivalries that exist and the misinformation that goes around and, uh, and, and around our world, the division that exists. And, and uh, how, how are we going to ever change the world? unless we can do what Jesus did, treat other people like we want to be treated with reverence and respect, with a forgiving heart and with great love. And that's why our newly confirmed, you need the gifts and all of us need the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Be all seven of them, especially courage and wisdom to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do regardless of how we're treated. And if we don't start doing that, our world is never gonna change. But do keep that in mind, those four letters, WW, J.D., what would Jesus do? How would he treat people in this or that situation? As long as I have the microphone, I'm certainly grateful for the invitation to be with you. Congratulations to our newly confirmed and your sponsors and families, for the, uh, the staff here who do so much for all of you, our liturgical ministers, all the ministers of care, and everybody that contributes to the life of St. Francis Xavier. <clears throat> Next week, I'll be up the hill at St. Joseph, but uh, I know that both the parishes hopefully work together and can work together. But we have much to be grateful for, and I know I take so much for granted, perhaps all of us do, having grown up as we have in this neighborhood as I did, as you guys are. But it's a big world out there, and that's why we're here today, to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit, to, to be the kind of people in our world that the world needs. And if we don't do it, who is going to do it? So again, I'm grateful and pray for all of you. Please pray for us, especially for vocations to all the forms of service within the church today. And there are many, many. But again, I'm grateful to, to be with you today. Let us stand together now and let us pray. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while we are still here on earth with the bread that comes from, high, from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come true in completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a quick announcement about after our confirmation mass. First and foremost, I want to thank the bishop for coming. I said he tried to retire. You know, I realized that I was three and a half years old when Father Rassus was ordained a priest. So he's been at it for quite some time. So uh, just a, uh, a way of recognizing the bishop. Thank you for coming in the midst of everything else. After Mass, we'll have the normal recessional, and then we have a reception over in the atrium, over in the school, and there'll be an opportunity just to keep things simple so the bishop doesn't have to stand too long. We're asking that just the confirmation candidates and their sponsors 
get in line for the picture. Uh, you can just line up. There'll be people to organize you. Uh, but really, a word of thanks to Dana McKenna, who helped organize all this. Uh, Christine Elliott, who is behind the scenes doing everything and making things work. And to Mr. Cahill, who was a sponsor today, uh, who teaches in the eighth grade of Saints JFX School. You do a great job, James. Very proud of you. So thanks for that. I hope everyone enjoys your evening tonight and just an encouragement to live your faith and come back next Sunday. We'll see you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads for God's blessing. <clears throat> May the God of all consolation bless us in every way and grant us peace today and each day of our lives. Amen. May he free us from all anxiety and strengthen our hearts in his love. Amen. May he enrich us with his gifts of faith, of hope, and of charity so that what we do in this life will bring us to the happiness of eternal life. Amen. May God bless each of us and each of you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth now in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. As we go forth, please join in singing number 652, O Spirit, all embracing number 652.
picture. You two look adorable. Muncie, you're yeah, there you go. Father Rex, uh, that was good. Keep that kind. 